Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So today, inshallah, we will be talking about Torah. Okay? Now, this is a term that is totally new to you, as I can, as, as far as I, as I know. Okay? You have heard about Torah, but not about Torah. Okay? It is kind of similar to the Torah. For linear motion, we apply force, but in angular motion or angular velocity, okay, we will apply torque, okay. Now, <laughs> let us say this is a door, okay. This is the hinge with which the door is attached and if I apply some force here, the door will rotate around this one. Can, do you understand? Can you imagine this one? We have our door, right? And the door is, one end of the door is attached to the hinge and another one is free to move, right? It can move in a circular path. If it does not have any obstacle around, then what will happen? It can move around that hinge in a circular path. So it is allowed to have a rotational motion, okay? Now, <clears throat> You will see that in case of linear motion, whenever we are applying some force, we are getting some acceleration. Correct or not? We are applying some force and we are getting some acceleration. The calculation can be done using this equation F equal to ma. If there is no force, then there will be no acceleration. But here, in, uh, in case of rotational motion, it is possible that uh, you will apply some force on the body, but you will not get any angular acceleration. Now, how this is possible? Let us try to think about it in this way. If I apply the force on the door at the edge, okay? At this point, if I apply the force, I can easily rotate the doors. Without, uh, um, without applying a large amount of force, I can easily make the door to rotate, right? Now, if I apply this force at a less distance from the hinge, then what will happen? You can imagine that I will have to apply a bigger amount of force. And as I will get closer to the hinge, then what will happen? I will have to apply larger and larger amount of force. Can you imagine this? If this is the door, okay, this side is fixed. So if you want to rotate the door, what we will do? Amra Bishi force the China. Like the human nature, camera all po costa bishikas kote. Camera to take a bishik great day all po costa daliki kurta away. Age, age taken a shake and amra will force it away. So as a result, it will rotate. Okay? So maximum amount of angular acceleration will be produced. The same amount of force, if you give at a lesser distance from the hinge, you will see that you are not being able to create the same angular acceleration. Is this point clear to you? Yes. Okay. So this is very important. See, you are applying the same amount of force, but you are not being able to produce the same angular acceleration. That means there is another quantity which is playing a vital role here. What is that quantity? That quantity is torque. Now, how do we calculate torque? We calculate the torque as the product of force and the distance from the hinge. Okay? as uh, the product of the force and the distance from the hinge. If you notice, I am applying same 5 Newton force, let us say, at the maximum distance, okay, from the hinge, at the edge. The value of R will be maximum. As if I am keeping fixed, so tau, oh, oh, sorry, I, or I guess I forgot to tell you that torque is replaced by tau, okay? Uh, this is written uh, like this. It is kind of, uh, it, it looks like T, okay? A wave type thing, then if you give a shape like this, then it will be tau, okay? So torque is expressed by tau. So it is the product of force and uh, distance from the hinge, okay? So here, uh, if the R is maximum, then torque will be maximum. So R is maximum when you apply the force at the edge, right? As you get closer and closer to the hinge, what happens? The distance R, the value of R decreases. As a result, this torque decreases. 
now this torque actually determines how much angular moment angular acceleration will be produced so if you get closer to the hinge r decreases as a result torque decreases and as a result angular acceleration that you will be able to produce will decrease okay so is the concept clear that even though we are applying the same amount of force we are not being able to produce the same amount of angular acceleration that is why we actually introduce the concept of torque okay so the torque varies the angular acceleration varies okay so in case of linear motion the role that is played by the force is the role same role played by the torque in case of angular motion see depending on the force linear acceleration depends right as i already showed you f equal to m a you change the force you change the acceleration if you apply larger amount of force larger amount of acceleration will be produced but this is for linear motion but here we can see that for angular motion even though we keep the force same okay and obviously i am not changing the load so the mass is not changing so even though f and m we are not changing the same acceleration we are not being able to produce so that is why actually we are having to introduce the concept of torque which will actually tell you that how much angular acceleration you will be able to produce is it clear now torque it is also called the moment of force moment of force okay because we are multiplying the distance from the center with the force that is why it is called the moment of force now i would like to take you one class back okay if you remember in the last class we discussed about angular momentum angular momentum was the cross product of the radius vector and the linear momentum right so here what we can say as i am multiplying the distance from the center with linear momentum can i say that angular momentum is the moment of the linear momentum if you compare this one okay i am multiplying distance with force that is by moment of force here i am multiplying distance with linear momentum so moment of linear momentum i can say this right that is why it is written in your book okay that angular momentum is the moment of linear momentum whenever we multiply the distance from the center with something it becomes the moment of that particular thing is it clear lamia shiham na bujhle amake bolo please silent thaka ta amar ekdom pochondo na sir please to finish ta ek to doubt as sir kon ta torque ei eta torque ei कत এখন তুমি এই 5 নিউটন ফোর্স সি যদি 2 মিটার ডিসটেন্স তে अप्लाई করো তে ফার্স্ট টাইম আমরা এখান থেকে সবচেয়ে দূরে 3 মিটার দূরে এখানে अप्लाई করতেছিলাম এখন যদি 2 মিটার দূরে এখানে अप्लाई করি এট দিস পজিশন ইফ উই अप्लाई দেন হোয়াট উইল বি দা টর্ক দা টর্ক উইল বি 5 ইনটু 2 10 ওকে এখন আবার सेम এই 5 নিউটন ফোর্স যদি আমি 1 মিটার দূরে अप्लाई করি দা টর্ক प्रोड्यूस উইল বি 5 मोशन So, so 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 velocity change the 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 acceleration 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 linear motion force force Yes. 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 Okay. But angular 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 same 
কিন্তু এটা সেম যে পাইপ নিউট্রন ফোর্সটা डिफरेंट डिफरेंट পজিশনে যদি তুমি দাও তুমি এটা ইমেজিন করতে পারবা যে মানে একটা ডোরকে সেম ফোর্স আমি যদি এই মানে হালকা একটা ধাক্কা এখানে দেই ডোরটা কিন্তু ইজিলি রোটेट করবে বাট চিন্তা করো ডোরটা এখানে ফিক্সড ওকে এখানে ধাক্কা দিলে ইজিলি রোটेट করবে বাট এই যে এই হিঞ্জটা কাঁচা কাচি কোন একটা পয়েন্টে ফোর্স দিয়ে আমরা যদি ডোরটাকে ঘুরাইতে চাই আমি কি সেম ফোর্স দিলে ডোরটাকে আগের মতো ঘুরাইতে পারবো আমার এখন লার্জার ফোর্স দিতে হবে না যদি আগের মতো ঘুরাইতে চাই मैक्सिमाम
So definitely the angle has a vital role to play here. Then we got to know or we got an idea about the magnitude of the torque. But as it is a vector quantity, we cannot uh, forget to talk about the direction. Uh, uh, which will be the direction of this one? If F is like this, and uh, let us say R is in this way, R. So as you can remember, yesterday we discussed about the right hand screw rule. Okay, we are starting from F. So I will place my finger along F, and I will try to rotate towards R. Now you might think, sir, you have pointed the finger, placed the finger like this. What is I? What if I place the place the finger? Like this, it is still showing the direction of F. But in that case, you cannot actually rotate towards R. See, from what finger to put a rotate for the No, at this position, finger can rotate like this. That is why you have to place the finger in this way. You have to rotate your hand, place the finger in this way, and you have to, you must be in such a condition that you may rotate your finger from F towards R. So if you can rotate it, then the thumb will show you the direction of the result and that is the torque. So that direction we can find out according to the right hand screw rule. And if I am talking about the unit, that is very simple because F it is Newton and R it is meter. So Newton meter. Okay. Now, <clears throat> so also the dimension we can uh, talk about Newton. New what is the dimension of Newton? Do you remember? This one I would like to give you as homework. Okay, try to find out the dimension from this equation. Okay, and send me the picture because many of you might, you know, see the answer from the book and send me picture. I do not want it. Okay, I want you to show me the calculation that how you found out that this is the dimension. Show me the details calculation. I expect it from you. Okay, so soon after the class, please do this and send me. Acha. <clears throat> Now this torque has a vital role to play in several places. Okay, let us. Uh, I, I guess all of you have uh, seen the seesaw. It is called seesaw, I guess, right? In the garden. Okay, uh, it is an arrangement something like this. This is the ground, and there is something like this is placed here. The people can sit, and it yes. goes up and down. You know this type of arrangement, right? So yes. actually what is happening, okay? If, let us say that the, uh, the distance to this is three meter and the distance to that is also three meter. Now, if I want to keep it in a balanced condition, I have to put equal masses on both of them, right or wrong? Yes. Putting five kg here, I, I, I have to put five kg there also, right? But let us say I'm not putting equal amount of mass, but still I want to balance it. Then how can I do it? I can do it using the moment of force. I have to create the equal amount of moment in both the side. How I can do that? Let us say I am putting a uh, five kg mass over here. So the it will create a moment in this direction, right? It will try to rotate in this way. So the direction of the moment will be in this direction and the moment will be 15, um, uh, sorry, it is 5 kg. So 5 kg ke abar, weight convert kutta, because force and distance multiply. So 5 kg na bole, amra better bole 5 newton. Because amra weight consider kutta. Uska so, can 5 kg ka 5 newton de klam? Okay? Yes. Force like this. So, this moment I created, that is 15 Newton meter. If I want to balance it, okay, then I have to create another 15 Newton meter momentum in the opposite direction. Okay, if I want to balance it, I to balance it, I want to create 15 Newton meter momentum. How I can do that? Let us say I have a force of 7.5 Newton here. Then, at what distance I can put it from the middle, from the pivot, at what distance I can place it so that it becomes balanced? Can you tell me? Seven point. 
उठे <laughs> मन कर अप्लाई कोरी तो वो मेटा टू मीटर का है आई लेट आपको टू इनटू सेवेन पॉइंट फाइव यस फिफ्टीन इट इज गिविंग मी फिफ्टीन न्यूटन पर मीटर सो आई कैन बैलेंस इट ये बोल सकते हो इस बार सर जी तो इधर इस बार माने मोमेंट ओके ये देखिए इधर आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड एंड यू कॉर्ड द आइडिया दिस इज़ द मेन आइडिया Yeah. So now I would like to request you to go through page number 225, starting from the torque topic, and uh, please read that page number 226 also. And if you have any doubt, please let me know now. Okay? I want to finish the topic today. Then, inshallah, we will be talking about tau is equal to I alpha. Now let us discuss about tau is equal to I alpha this relation. Okay? Okay, now we know that tau is equal to force into distance. Now let us say we are talking about a single particle. Okay, first particle of any object. For that, the torque will be F into R1. Okay, the force we are applying is the same force. Okay, now we know that F is equal to m1 e1 r1. Okay. So A is equal to again from dynamics we know that A equal to R alpha or alpha R. Okay, anything we can write. So if I replace the value here, M1, it will be alpha into R1 squared because one R1 will come from here and another R1 is already there, so it will be R1 squared. So like that, I can get the torque for the second particle also. Okay. Now if I take the summation of All the torque of all the particle, then I will be getting the total torque of the whole body, right? So tau is equal to I can write m1 alpha r1 square m2 alpha r2 square, and it will continue like this. So if you take alpha common, then what will happen? It will be m1 r1 square plus m2 r2 square plus it will continue. Then This can be written as summation of m r square. If you remember, okay, and we are taking the summation of all the m into r square. So this one actually is moment of inertia. So we can write tau is equal to i alpha. True. Is there any doubt in the proof? Is there any doubt in the proof? No sir. Okay. So kindly uh, study whatever we have studied till now. Okay, revise at home, and then there are some practicals. Inshallah, we will start discussing from Newton's laws of motion for rotational motion. Okay, we will be rewriting the Newton's law for rotational motion. We will see how that goes. Okay, um, some example I can give already that the force will be replaced by torque. If you remember in the second um, uh, law, we say that the rate of change of momentum. Is directly proportional to the applied force. Newton's second law. Now this one will become the rate of change of angular momentum is directly proportional to the applied torque. Okay, so something like this. Inshallah, we will get to see in details in the next class. So uh, kindly read it, revise it, and also uh, as you have a weekend coming up, so in the weekend utilize it, solve the numerical problems which are related to the 
equations or formula that we have already studied so far in this chapter okay related to those the mathematical problem solve it at home and if you have any doubt in that then we can discuss it on discuss about that on sunday inshallah so is your homework clear yes okay sadia said 225 what is 225 the page number page number someone asked me okay 